Good morning, everyone. This morning, the Surgeon General called for a warning label on social media to warn parents that social media is harmful for children. Studies show that children on average are spending four to five hours a day on social media and they usually feel worse about themselves afterwards than they did before. This week's Torah portion begins with the commandment for Aaron, the high priest, to light the menorah each and every day in the temple. And Rashi asks, why does the commandment for Aaron to light the menorah follow yes, last week's Torah portion, which was all about the dedication of the altar? After the Mishkan was erected for 12 consecutive days, the leaders, the princes of each tribe brought gifts in honor of the tabernacle. And after the 12 gifts, we read about Aaron. And Rashi answers that Aaron watched the way the 12 leaders of the tribes brought gifts, and he felt bad because he was left out. Because as the Kohen who served in the temple, he didn't get to bring gifts. So God told him, don't feel bad. Your honor, your privilege, your role and responsibility is even higher and greater than theirs. Because you will light the menorah each and every day in the temple. And the question is, how is lighting the menorah greater than the honor of bringing gifts? And one answer can be given by looking at the word Bahalotcha. It doesn't say when you light the menorah. We all know on Hanukkah we say Lahadlik Ner, to light the candles of Hanukkah. When women light their candles Friday night, they say Lahadlik to kindle the flames of the Shabbat candles. Here the word is Bahalotcha. Bahalotcha means when you raise up. When you elevate the flames, what does it mean to elevate the flames? Because flames go upward. Why do flames go upward? Because as King Solomon says, they represent the soul of man. The candle of God is the soul of man. The body is lazy. The body gravitates towards earthly, mundane, physical pleasures and enjoyment. But the soul is like a candle. It's always striving to go higher, to connect to God, to spirituality, to meaning, to purpose. And therefore the re role of Aaron is to elevate the souls of the Jewish people, to ignite them with passion, with love, with aspirations and goals and dreams and ideals. And that's the deeper meaning of the role of Aaron. And what God was saying is your role, Aaron, as the high priest, is to elevate the souls of the Jewish nation, to kindle their flames. And that's not only true with Aaron, it's true with every parent, it's true with every educator. The role of every teacher and educator and parent is to ignite the souls of the children, that their flames should burn with passion, with love, with goals, to strive to go heavenward towards lofty ideals and values, and not to just seek the physical and the mundane. And that's why the surgeon Surgeon General's warning is so appropriate to remind parents that our role, God forbid, is never to allow our children's souls to be damaged or harmed by what they see on social media, but to elevate it through prayer, through Torah study, through practicing good deeds. There was a rabbi in the south of Israel who on the holiday of Sukkot, he was going from one kibbutz to the other, and he was offering people the opportunity to shake the lul of an esrik, to do the mitzvah. He came to one kibbutz, he met this young Israeli man, and he offered him to shake the lul of an esrig. And he said, no, I'm not religious, I'm not interested. And he said, it's a mitzvah, it'll be wonderful, take a second. And he said, I'll take a picture of you, you'll have a picture of you shaking the lul of an esrig. Finally, the man agreed. The rabbi took his kippah, put it on his head, gave him the lul of an esrig, said the blessing, and he shaked it and waved it in all four directions. A few days later, it was October 7th, and the rabbi sees the picture of this young man that he was murdered by the Hamas terrorists. He immediately finds out his name and goes to visit his family. He comes to the bereaved family and he comforts them and he speaks to them and encourages them and then he says, do you need help with the funeral arrangements? As the rabbi in the neighborhood, I'm happy to help you in any way. And the parents say to him, our son was secular, he was not religious, he didn't even believe in God. We don't need a rabbi, we don't need a religious ceremony. And the rabbi says, let me show you something. And he takes out his phone, finds the picture, and he shows them the picture of their son with a keep on his head, with a big smile on his face, shaking and holding the lul of an esrig. And he says, your son did believe in God. He was a proud Jew, and he should have a proper Jewish burial. 
when the parents saw that picture which says a thousand words, of course they said, sure, we want to give our child a proper Jewish burial. Every Jew has a soul, every human being has a soul, and our job is to ignite it and allow it to radiate with the light and the warmth of its full potential. Have a wonderful day.